Okay, I'm going to make a video here on big block Chevrolet head gaskets. There's been some confusion. Um, I'm going to try to clear it up for the average uh, engine builder that maybe doesn't know this. This isn't for a professional engine builder. If he wants to watch it, it's fine. Um, this is just basic information that I've picked up over the years. And it's not too difficult if you just plain read the instruction sheet on the Felpro head gaskets. It seems like a lot of guys don't look at that and throw it away. You can have yourself some serious problems. Uh, I've been fortunate. I've never done that. Um, the deal is, is on the 1037 head gasket, which I use on the smaller bore big blocks, it's going to have water passages delete. And you can see it right here. Just the bottom hole, okay. This is a bigger bore, Fell Pro. This is a 1017. I don't normally use that. If you use the 1017 on the smaller bore, the firing rings out further. I don't particularly care for that on anything smaller than, say, a 30 over bore on a big block. It's just a big head gasket. I want the head gasket as close as I can, the firing ring, when it's pinched, that it's not going to be hanging into the cylinder bore. With the bigger firing ring, you're going to have a dead space up in there. I don't want that. Um, but if you look at the 1017, you can see, clearly see over the old head gasket to the new head gasket. This is blocked off. And these holes become more important. If you fail to open up them holes in the deck on the older 454s, you will have a cooling issue problem. If you use this head on an earlier block without the block being drilled, you will have quite possibly a cooling issue. I always drill them. The earlier 396s and some of the earlier blocks, you may not see only one hole. You may see two holes. So you may have to drill one hole or you may have to drill two holes into the deck. And it's not that big of a deal. You put the gasket on and you pick up the points and you drill them out. Uh, they don't have to be huge. Um, I think Felpro recommends a 5 8 I usually just drill them to half inch and go. If you can look at that one, that's a 1057. That's even a bigger gasket than the 1017. Um, you can see that this has got water passages up here, and it's got the holes drilled in the bottom. You probably won't get yourself in any kind of trouble if you use this head gasket on an earlier block that's not drilled, assuming you don't use a newer head that doesn't have this port in it. Um... That's kind of it on the head gaskets, and if you look at the newer multi-layered gaskets, they may or they may not have that passage there, but all of them have the lower roll. So, my feelings on that is, is I'd rather have two holes down here that aren't maybe going to make a damn bit of difference than needing them and trying to take the block apart and drill them later. Uh, that is kind of it on the head gaskets. I see a lot of guys on the internet who get com confused and say, oh, you got the wrong head gasket. No, I don't have the wrong head gasket. I'm just making the head gaskets that I want to use on that particular job for the 1017 or 1037. If you use the 1017, it's no problem. I think the CCs aren't even a one CC different um, but I like the firing rings as close as I can get to the to the cylinder bore without hanging in, and the 1037 does that. Uh, I hope you pick up some information and it's usable from this. If not, fine. If you do, good. But uh, I see a lot of guys on the internet. You put a newer head gasket on an older block, I can guarantee you one thing. If it ain't drilled on the bottom, it's going to run hot. So that's it. Good luck.